good is this? G'day and welcome to day one of our golf mission. So we've set off from Weeper, we're punching into the Gulf of Carpentaria. No planned destination, we're just sending it, hitting all the coastal creeks on our way. We've got enough petrol on board to fuel a bloody rocket ship. Got the swags, got the grommets, I got the flotation device. Look at the conditions, it is absolute glass out. Just starting to get a breath of wind in and we are punching. Hold on to your hats for this one, let's go. First drop, who's going to get the first one, Xander? Uh, I reckon Mum. Mum? Mum mm -hmm. cheated, she already dropped hers in. <laughs> no. Aww. Yeah. That was the first one. Tally mark first. Tally mark for Dad. Tomato cod. That's his toy. Go, Mum. Big fish, Mum. Tomato cod. It looks like it's biting right now. No, it's getting a little bit. Yum, yum. Okay. Ellie, biting. Oh, I've got a queenie right there at the boat. Okay, so that queenie, you can buy. Uh, is it a queen? What is it? Yeah, a queen. Yeah. Um, what is it? Queenie. Yeah, probably. Yeah. How would a grassy be that big? You like grassy? Yep. Oh, wow, I got another one right at the back of the boat. <laughs> What'd you get? What's that? Queenies, there's a massive whoa, there's a massive school of queenies right under the boat and they're hitting the sinker as I pull it up. Queenie again? Another big queenie bug. Video on yourself, Bobby. <laughs> I need Little gold spot. A lot of people love these, especially that size. They're, they're beautiful eating, but for us, we're going to let this one go. Feels like a cod. Very much like a cod. Another card. A little baby card, give him a kiss. Give him a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! That must have done what you. <laughs> nice queenie, babe. Let him go.
little juvenile finger mark. We've got a couple of little fellas, but there's a big school of fish down there. I just can't entice the big fella. So I'm gonna try the fish pig. I'm gonna drop down the um, the fish pig jig. See if I can't have a crack at something a little bit larger. Hello, Mom. Mm -hmm. You turn around the pie. Oh, he's got a little bit of fight in this one. Holy, the biggest shark just come up underneath him. A little bit better finger mark and a shark just about had him. Another nice mark. Golden snapper, finger mark, whatever you want to call them. We might keep this one because he swallowed the hook, so he's he's gonna be unlikely to re release. He might be dinner tonight oh, if we don't get a big tusky. We're just making our way out into the Gulf at the moment. As we're yeah. heading, we're slowly uh, just fishing our way down. Yeah, so every we're time, <laughs> do you want to talk or me? <laughs> me. <laughs> So, as we're heading, we're just slowly marking bottom fish, whatever it is, fishing our way along. So, I've just found a new mark. We've dropped on it. We've got a couple finger mark, one little tusky. I'm pretty sure Court had a big tusky on and lost him. Um, but we're going to keep punching. I've got one more mark on a, on a decent reef I've fished before down this way. And then pretty much from there on is completely uncharted country for us. We haven't been this far south before, so... We're just going to keep punching our way, way along, fish all the way along, and then um, we're also going to head into the coastal creek. So the aim of our trip is barramundi. That's our target species. But to get there, we've got to go across some pretty good, um, pretty good ground out wide. So we're going to fish that, and then hit the barra tomorrow, maybe this afternoon. We'll see how we go. Good work. Yeah. Big work. I can see it. Oh, yeah, I got one too. Oh, what is that? They're big, whatever they are, babe. Oh, my God. What is it? Big, big GT. Oh, is it? Huge. Oh, I got one too. Holy crap. Holy! Oh, Call them Golden Trevally, darling, not GT. Oh my Couple of little Golden Trevally. Got it? Mm -hmm. Alright, let them go. Uh, I got all my Gone. So we're just steaming along at the moment. The conditions are the conditions are absolutely perfect. What do you reckon? Pretty good. So we're gonna target a few reef species 
uh, early in the trip. And then we're going to head up the creeks and the estuaries, fish the uh, coastal creeks and try and find a couple of big barra. We're going to keep steaming now into the Gulf of Carpentaria. We're looking for some tuna. That's, we want some, sh some sashimi for dinner tonight. Maybe for lunch actually. We didn't bring too much food with us. We packed as wide as possible. Righto, drop a comment below and tag someone who still wouldn't catch a fish in this. <laughs> Courtney still can't catch one and look at the water. Baby, baby, Spanish by look of it, but it's. Where'd he go? What? Mum caught him. Finger mark. It's actually a big school of them down there, so we might drop back in and see if we can't get a couple of bigger fellas. This is a Like a proper one. What's a goal? Finger mark. Big dog. What have I got you? No, I've got, I've got mine over here. Holy! Did you get the same mark, Dad? That, that's my PB. No, 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 no. Oh, no. 
Oh no, that was my PB for sure. That was a big finger mark. Right, mine I got was, one. Mine was bigger than him. <laughs> oh no! Good work, babe. Good work, babe. Beautiful Goldie. Lunch. Just dropped mine at the side of the boat. Would have ate that one for breakfast. Here I'm on again. Oh, another big dog. Ah, had to be the cod, didn't it? The boy. My boxer. Okay, I did another one. So what did you do? Jig, jig, jig. See how dad does it? Not, don't just drop it back down. Jig it up, jig it up, 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 and then slowly let it back down. Jig, 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 jig. jig. Get him, bub. It's a finger mark. Oh, he is too. Good job. Wind him in. Wind him up. Wind him up a bit more, bub. Good job. Good job. What is he? A finger mark. I'm on cooking duties down the back. Xander and Courtney are catching. Whoa, what was that? What is it? That jumped. Yeah. Something. That was massive. Right, I move. Hop out of the way, Bobby. That's mummy's got a big, big fish on. Keep the just keep the pressure on him. Just fight, like let him let him fight himself out. Please be a big. Oh, it's a monster queenie. It's huge. Move, girls. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Good work, babe. Get him in the water. No, let him put him down in there and then yeah. Swim him a bit. Right there. You're not swimming again. Oh, oh I'm just about to go. So with those bigger, bigger fish, when you get them out of the water, whoa, that's a, what is that fish? Look at it jumping. <laughs> so when, when you get those bigger fish out of the water, uh, their lactic acid builds up and they start to, um, start to deteriorate pretty quick. So give that big girl a swim. Once you can start to feel her starting to kick back in her tail a bit, give her a push down. It's the best fighting chance they're going to have. Unfortunately, the sharks and stuff, they probably are going to get, going to get hit up here, but Give them the best fighting chance, give them a time to revive. Um, when you spear them back in the water, we generally only spear them if you've just literally got them straight out, hook out and got them back in. That big girl, we got a quick photo with her, so took a little bit of time to let her go again, but this is, this is, whoa, Zen is on! <laughs> Good work! Look, it's a big one too. I think that might be the same. It's a big one. Wow, oh, big Queenie, look at the size of him! So this is what we're fishing, hopefully you can see you've got all the Queenies down here. He's yeah, still on, like yeah! Well, fight him, don't let it go loose. Wow! Oh, he's oh. Woohoo! Please. What? No, you can wind him. Him in, Bob. You gotta fight him all the way in. Let dad know he's almost he's right here. There. 
can say mine. 95, mum was 96. So you're just smaller than mum. Yeah, hold it up. Go stand with dad and dad will help you hold it. Good job, what's your cat? A uh, queenie. Very good. Very Big follower too. Just, just shy of one meter. Okay, so a couple of people have asked how we find our fish when we're fishing new areas. Do we know the ground? Do we get marks from other people? Not really, no. Generally, I'll just do a little bit of homework on Navionics or either Google Images or something. Find an area that I think I want to try and fish and then just search around till I find bottom. It's been very, very difficult today. Um, we've punched a long way south. When you're punching south from Weeper, um, once you get... I know maybe 60, 70 k south of Weeper, you go to another big, big bay. So you come out of Albatross Bay into Archer Bay. Um, we chose, because of the glamorous weather, we chose not to hug the coast. Courts on in the background. That sounds all right. We chose not to hug the coast. We actually punched wider. So once we come off the tip of Thud Point, we just kept punching um, straight south and we actually headed out and fished a few shoals out wide, but unfortunately, there was not much out there. Not much was happening at all. We've had to come all the way back in and you can probably see the land behind me. We're now only maybe 5K from, um, from land where we've started to find some larger schools of fish. And that's exactly what we found here. So we're sitting on a large school. You can see them in the down scan. You actually see them in the side scan as well. And what, what they are is these big finger mark and big queenies. So we're just dropping uh, strip baits down, either flesh, prawn, squid, or we have been using the hunter bait soft plastic as well. And the queenies have been loving the soft plastic. I got that big finger mark before that I dropped at the side of the boat. That was my PB for sure. That was about an 800 goldie. Um, Quartz just pulled in another 500. Yeah, good. Good one. So I'm going to shut up and jump back in, see if I can't get a few more. Xander's keeping a tally, so we'll tell you at the end of the day just how well our day's been, even though it's been pretty slow. I think we're already up to about 20 fish a piece. So it's been quite slow, but that, that's still a, a good day by any standards. Let him go. Let him go, let him grow. Tusky. Is it? Will be. And I'm getting bites. Oh, big Tusky. Big far too. Oh, 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 oh my god. <laughs> That's what we came here for. Big dogs. Well, we didn't actually come here for this. We come here for Barra, but I'm taking that over a Barra every day of the week. Beautiful little blue bone, tusky, black spot, tusk fish, whatever you want to call them. Got a mouth only a mother could love. Another little finger mark, send him back to the depths. No, Dad's got a bin bag. Oh, come on. That big fella. 101. Nice big queenie. Oh, big grassies. Big grassies. Two grassies. Little pigeon pair. Double hook up on the grassies. Oh, 
The court's far, far bigger than mine, but send them back. Send them back. Well, the weather turned south on us out the front. You can probably see this big thing. Nothing quite like camping in the wet season. Again. And again. <laughs> that storm lasted about two hours. It's just started to rain again now, but there is a little bit of clear sky out behind us. I was cooking up a few bangers. Just having a bit of a fish here on a rock bath, a few liveys I just got off the beach. Yeah, Little the black spot rock cod, and he stinks. Last night was a bloody eventful night. Courtney ended up with a coming down with a fever. So our anchor had pulled. Somehow we drifted out with the tide. We actually drifted across the top of um, two massive charter boats uh, anchor. Our anchor got hooked up on theirs. We ended up almost being swallowed by their uh, cat hulls. It's been a long bloody morning waiting for this. 33,000 casts later. Good job. What'd you catch? A grunter. Good girl. Look at that. Double hookup. Nice little double hook up on the threadies. Well, the rain has just come in. We're just gonna fish through it. There's nothing else we can do. I look like a construction worker, but anyways, we're good.